Dual screen gaming. That's what LG is offering with the V50. Now the question is, is this worth your time? Is it any different than just having a regular device? Well, let's jump in and find out. So the LG V50, when it was announced at MWC, also offered a dual screen option. Now, this option is only available in Korea, but LG luckily sent this over to us to check it out. I think it's because they have that new device that might have a dual screen uh, going to be announced in IFA. Have no idea what it will be, but if it's anything like this, it will be an interesting concept. So the V50 has a dual screen option, as I mentioned and it comes with this uh, dual screen case. Now you buy the case separately and it connects via pogo pins. Now what's interesting about this is that it gives it of course a thicker profile, but what you have here is a device that once you plug it in, you do have another screen that pops up on the left hand side. So you open it up, you have a screen on the left, you have a screen on the right. So as you know quite well, the V50 is powered by the 855 processor, you've got eight gigs of RAM. It's got a QHD display, uh, but the dual screen options display is a little less. Now you will see that when you're looking at wallpapers or when you're looking at gaming content, just a little bit. I think it's a full HD plus, but it is still a nice display altogether. Now, what can you do with the dual display in terms of gaming? You can play uh, your game on one screen and you can have a controller on the other. So certain games work well with this, things like Asphalt 9. Uh, Fortnite does as well, but it's a bit iffy just because of the button controls for firing. Um, I wish you could remap that and hopefully that is something they change. Uh, the other, th other option that I found quite interesting is of course that because you've got dual screens, you can have two things running at the same time. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, having them running simultaneously, that is not exactly the case. You can actually have one game playing on one screen and then paused on the other screen. You can swap left and right. And uh, it sounds quite interesting and intriguing, but I'll let you guys see some of the gameplay I made on the V50 dual screen to see how it actually works. So let's check out some gameplay and some gameplay performance.
So the V50 dual screen allows you to hop from game to game. We're playing uh, PSC 2019 and uh, we're also playing PUBG uh, Mobile. Now it's easy of course with those two games because PSC once you swap out from one screen to the other to PUBG, uh, it pauses the game and you can go ahead and continue your PUBG gameplay. Is there any reason why you should do this? Not necessarily, unless you had two games that you were grinding on. Maybe uh, the one was an MMO which you just needed to grind a character and you wanted to play something else like PUBG, uh, then that makes a lot of sense. Uh, but the problem is of course, once you swap from one game to another, it stops. Now, in terms of general game performance, so it handles really well. And what I liked about it, that even though you had those two games running side by side and hopping back and forth, is basically the fastest multitasking you can do for gaming. Uh, it ran well, there were no glitches, it was easy to go hop back and forth. And again, that's the power and performance of the Snapdragon 855 processor and the amount of RAM that the V50 has. Uh, now, there are other functionalities you can use with the dual screen, but this video is all about gaming, so we focus on that. Uh, the couple of things things you can do is of course have two different things running at the same time uh, and swapping back and forth. So if you are say watching a live feed and you want to write notes, you can probably do this more effectively. If you want to listen to a podcast or YouTube video on one and also do something else, that's some, something you can actually do on this device. But when it comes to gaming, it handles the games pretty well. Now you're wondering, what about temps? Uh, it came out to about 101 degrees or about 33 degrees uh, uh, Celsius. So you can see the temperatures there on screen. Uh, it wasn't too bad because the case was around it. So that actually felt fine. And I figured it would run harder just because it's powering two displays and not one. Now, when it comes to battery life, this thing is a battery hog. Now the V50 itself, which is a 5G capable device, uh, handled well, at least for me in terms of battery, uh, battery usage. But when running both screens at the same time, it definitely uh, took a hit out of my battery. So uh, when I started gaming, uh, do my gaming session for this video, I started at about 60%. I played for about 45 minutes and I was down to about 20. So it really took a huge battery hit. And that's something that everybody just needs to know if you're gonna pick this up. Now, both screens, of course, are not the same exact dimensions, but it offers a unique proposition for you if you're looking for something different, I would say. I can't wait to see what LG has to offer at IFA with their dual screen gaming. Hopefully they clean out some of the kinks you have there. Oh, I also forgot to mention, there is of course the, the game center, which allows you to uh, bring up uh, controllers on the dual screen mode. So you can use different type of controllers. You can go through some of the control options. Again, not a lot of the game supports, supports this. So that's something that, uh, hopefully we see change in the future. And then also with the dual screen application, there's a dual screen um, app or a floating button, if you will, allows you to, to do a couple of functionalities, set certain apps that will pop up when you turn on dual screen, which in my case is PUBG. So it means that once I have it on, I want to actually game. Uh, you can also switch between screens um, and uh, all your general controls are on the main screen uh, in terms of like, um, you know, your not notification center, getting access into your Android settings. That is all on the main screen. The second screen is more like a window screen extension, but doesn't flow together. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, any comments about dual screen gaming on the LG V50, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channels, guys. Let me know what you think, what you like to see, and always enjoy your entertainment.